Wattage. We're going to talk about wattage today. If you got on eBay, you punched in 3,000 watt amp. We're going to scroll down and pick a random amp here. And when you go through there, most of the time you're going to see stuff like Pyramid, Lanzar, Performance Technique, Boss. We'll pick this Boss. See it comes with a nice little kit. And when you go to your general information on it, let's see what we come up with. It features, and this is the R3000 and D, says that one ohm, it's 3000 watts. And when you come down and you look a little further in here, right here, says it includes a massive 60 amp gold plated fuse. So, let's see. Is this really a 3000 watt amp? Let's take 14.4 and multiply that by 60. That should give you your roundabout wattage. If you take and you truly do have something, you know, a, an electronic supply of 14.4 volts, you don't even get a thousand watts out of that amp. There's different formulas you can use to determine <clears throat> what an amplifier is able to push. I always look at the fuse. I always look at the size of the fuse. The reason is, is it will be fairly accurate. It won't always be because they could sell a 300 amp fuse with an amplifier and say well this thing's capable of doing this amount of power but most of the time that's not the case beware beware of the amplifiers that you buy you will get burned this is a very good example there's so many out there audio pipe I have actually had two of these amplifiers before the AP 1500 D's here they say 3000 watts but that's not true my amplifier was probably pushing about 14 1400 watts maybe th 1300 to the speakers but still I would suggest a, a better brand than audio pipe even that's all I got for you today.